Well, I've got some new additions. I've got six new additions, I think. Four, four five, six, seven. I've got seven additions, new additions, and it is sweltering in the uh, United Kingdom at the moment. It's uh, literally about 30 degrees in my room, and uh, it is boiling. So, let's have a look at these new editions I've got. I am so looking forward to some of them I've got. I'm so happy I've got them. Anyway, thank you. Well, let's have a look at the first one. Um, as usual, I'm in a, a rush again, because I've got to work in uh, half an hour. So I can only do this one now, and then I'll have to do the six later on in the evening. So this one is the Trinidad Dwarf Tiger. I think you pronounce it as the Cyrocosmus Elegance. Cyrocosmus Elegance, uh, yeah, I think that's all right, which from Trinidad. This is an adult female. These are absolutely spectacular little dwarf for uh, tarantulas. They are gorgeous and um, I've just got to get it out and have a look at it and have to. Right, I've got a catch cup. As you can see I'm a little bit um, in a rush as always. idea to put it in the tank first. Yeah, it's definitely a better idea because uh, I've seen on Andrew's Tarantulas, which is an absolute awesome channel, uh, he was uh, rehousing these last week and uh, they were very bolty, fast. So, let's see. This is, let's get this out. Thumbs in the way, as per usual. Wow, that is awesome. Right, what I want to do is I want to hold this actually. So uh, I'm just getting me a uh, tripod in the right order. Right, let's hopefully it doesn't bolt. Uh, I don't know if I want to hold it actually. It seems a bit, a bit aggressive. A little defensive. Wow. That is really, really nice. Look at that. Gold heart. Wow. It did, uh, it did tap my uh, tongues a little bit, didn't it? Right, I'm going to try. If it tags me, I can't imagine it being much of a problem. Is that rearing up? <laughs> Come on then. Wow, I'm so hot. So warm in this room. Watch me get tagged by a little dwarf tarantula. I don't think he wants to come on my hand, does it? I don't recommend doing handlings, but you've got little tiny little tees like this. It's irresistible. 
Oh, look at me, I am sweating. It's 31 degrees in my room. It's so warm. That's awesome. I'm gonna put it in enclosure. Yeah, you go in your enclosure. There we go. Awesome looking tea that is. I'm just gonna go and hang. Awesome. Well that's the first one. Now, I'm pretty sure the rest I will not be doing that with because the rest are all old worlds. So, next one. Right, six hours later. Just finished work. And I'm shattered, but I've got to finish this uh, video off ASAP because I can't uh, let these uh, these teas left in this uh, enclosures all night. These little tubs. I've got to get them sorted out. So it's going to be a long night. Right, so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm just going to put some substrate in these. There we go. Substrates in the uh, tubs. Right, to tell you what I've got. I have four, actually three juveniles um, OBTs, P. Murinus, uh, and one maybe sling anyway well there's three what are about seven to eight centimeters is that even focusing and there's one what something like four to five so the, the four to five is even going to juvenile anyway so I'm gonna uh, stick these OBTs you can see one there actually and these and these two, I don't think these two will need a rehousing at all because <clears throat> old BTs are not very big. I don't think that big, about 12 to 13 centimeters, so they'll be fine. But I'm not sure about these, these will probably need rehousing in the future. And what I'm thinking of doing is because I haven't got any court bark um, for these anyway. Um, they're just going to have to go in it like this and I'll have to find a water bowl <laughs> and stick it in later but I'm just going to rehouse them in these anyway so let's get to it here's the uh, first OBT <clears throat> so let's just get this lid off everyone knows about OBTs I'm not sure what they're like when they're juvenile but everyone knows an OBT has got an attitude so, let's pull this off. They're very bolty as well. Psychopaths. They're not psychopaths. I've got a female in a... I've got a female. And uh, she's been no, no problem at all. But I've got four of these to do. They've been nice. I'm hoping Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ah. Oh sorry mate. Sorry, I'm surprised you've not bolted. It's quite hard to do it with two tongues. Let's have a look what you're like. You're very small. Very small. Now let me get a stick. Better not bolt off, mate. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Right, that's the first one. 
Well, that almost got out. Right, OBT number two. So now, yeah, if that just carried on up the wall, it would have got out. Wow, I'm so warm. This is hard work in this heat. Oh, this is just too much heat for UK. 31 degrees in here. Oh, what the hell? Where's me, uh, ready for a bolt here. Come on, mate. Come on. That has got to be the three to four inch, uh, the four to five centimeter. It has to be, because that is small. That is small. I feel so unprepared here. Come on, bolts, it's getting out of here. Right, uh, let's zoom back out. Look at it, it's like it's a spring loaded gun. Look at it. Just oh, move. T3! <laughs> that last one, I cannot believe he didn't get out. Oh my god, I was so lucky. Right, I don't, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm terrified now. I'm terrified after that, buddy. Right, these are even smaller enclosures. Like, it, it can literally fly out in seconds, so this is super. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna, uh, Pull this out. Oh. <laughs> right. It just fell out the bottom. <sighs> and it's a bigger one. Oh no. So this is the 7 to 8 inch, uh, 7 to 8 centimetre one. I'm putting the uh, 4 to 5 centimetre ones in the bigger tubs. Oh well. It happens. Um, honestly, I don't want to mess with this. Yeah, that's bigger. That's definitely bigger. Oh, I didn't mean. This is going to be funny. Is it even going to move? Should be in the bath doing this. So there's no way I can get that out of there. Uh, let me just try, you know, if I pull this out of here, oh, this is dodgy, right, where's my lid, <laughs> come on, look at it, it's just like a spring, 
You know what? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna leave it. 100% gonna leave that. Right, that's three. <laughs> right, here's LBT number four. Oh dear me. That second one was flipping. If anyone's wondering why I've got four LBTs, it's because I'm going to try and breed him because I've got a, an adult female. So, my mission is, is to, uh, to breed him. This one's, this one's going to bolt out, I can see it already. No you're not. Right, I'm scared. Be nice. Be careful. Right, step one. Pull it out of the tube. Step two. Pull this. No, 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 no. You're not going. Oh. <laughs> wow, I've been so lucky today. Right, the thing is, is what's scary is because I'm not in the bathroom. I'm in my tea room and there's sofas and beds, so I am super lucky. Wow, that's an, that's me over tea's done. Right. <laughs> that was mental. Yeah, so what I see here <clears throat> is that they sent me Three to four to five centimeters, and one seven to eight, in my opinion. I won't say that's their enclosures properly. <laughs> I was so close, so close for them to be getting out. Then two of them bolted. Wow. Wow. <sighs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. See if I can show you some of these OBTs. Right, let's have a look at one of these. <sighs> yeah, that's about four to five centimeters. That one. That's not too bad. Nice and gold. Still very uh, gorgeous teas. Just extremely bolty. <clears throat> Extremely. Yeah. Anyway, it's gonna stay in this enclosure. It's best off anyway for maintenance. I'll find some uh, water bowls for them and that's it. Then you should just uh, web up this enclosure up nice and good. We'll take that out of there. Down there. I'll sort them out. Oh, I opened the enclosure, took out the tub, and this one flew out. <laughs> it's just literally bolted out, and I had to uh, catch it. It took me about 20 minutes to get back in here, and I'm risking it again just to show you guys. This one got out and I literally thought it was gone. But yeah, thought I'd show you. This is the biggest one I've got and it's in one of the small tubs. See, if I knew what size they were, I wouldn't have put it in this tub. So now I've got a massive issue with feeding this. <clears throat> Super bolty tees, not for beginners at all. <laughs> yeah, anyway, move to the next edition. Okay, my last two new editions are, drum roll, a male and female M. Balfuri. This is the female. This is an adult female, and 
this is a sub adult male Bell Fury. Oh, I can't wait to see what they look like. These I cannot wait. I'm so happy about these. So, hopefully, we'll get some um, one scene with chores. We'll get some uh, decent pairing footage, hopefully. Right, let's set up these enclosures. Well, there we go. That took a good while to do them. It took about an hour to get them sorted out. Um, the only thing that concerns me is I hope the leaves don't mould, which they shouldn't do because uh, Balfouri enclosures should be very dry. A bit like an OBT actually, so very easy to care for. Uh, the only thing I need, which I'm going to have to get, is two water bowls or anything. So I'll, I'll sort that out very uh, very soon. So right, let's get the... Uh, should we do first? Let's do the male first and leave the female to last. Right, here's my male Balfuri. I'm so looking forward to this. Oh, it's bloody hell. See, I'm stupid, aren't I? I wasn't expecting that, but hello, mate, how are you doing? Let me have a good look at you. Wow. You look awesome. I bet it's like, freedom! I'm eventually out of there. Mate, why are you webbing it up for? Eh? Wow, you are nice. Gorgeous. So classic, actually. This is the uh, the meal. So I can't wait to see the female. Right, don't start trying to get out. We'll just have a good look at you. I'll see your furry legs. Oh, I don't want another tarantula escaping today. So yeah, you know you're not on your own now, do you? Just stop it. Just chill there. This is your new home. You'll find your house, won't you? Let's see what your temper is. Well, I ran out of memory. Typical. This is becoming a problem. Alright, let's get you back in. Come on. No, no, no. Don't start flipping wandering. Right. Right, I'm going to do the female. Okay, let's try and get the uh, female Balfuri in. I'll let you see the uh, enclosure before I do it. I thought it turned out quite nice. It's a nice deep burrow in there for it to uh, hide in. Because all teas need burrows and hiding spots. Right, oh, yes. as again, I'm uncomfortable down here. Let's do this. Right, hopefully this one will be a bit more. Let's have a look. That's an adult female. I'll bleh, I'll bow fury. Bleh, bleh. Maybe I'm just trying to think of the best way of getting this out so you can see it. Right, just sort it out a little bit to make it a bit easier for me. I don't want to lose another tarantula. Right, let's have a look at you. Oh, I can't. I love the look of these tarantulas. I love them. Oh, you're a bit moody, are you? A bit of moody. Don't bolt. I'm not having this. Bit of a, a moody girl. I'm worried about it bolting. <laughs> right, you get back inside. Go on. I'm trying to think what to 
do. Where's my long tongs? Where's my long tongs? I'll go in there. Actually, before we... Wow, let's have a good look at you. Oh my god. That must be freshly malted. I've already got a Balfuria, but it's only a very small juvenile. But this looks amazing looking. I need to go in to go inside. Go on. There we go. There we go. A bit of bum action there, have we? See if I can turn her around. There she is. Wow. She only just bottled out the tank, by the way. And she's coming out. No, you're not. In. In. You're not going out. Well, my teas want to escape today. Stay there. Really nice looking tea, that is. Really nice. This is probably my main one today. I think these were extremely expensive a few years ago. I'm not actually looked up about them much, but. I know they've won awards for being the most beautiful tarantula in the world. Which I don't blame it at all. Well, look at that. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. That's really nice looking tarantula eyes. Really nice. Right then. I think I'm going to leave it there. I am shattered. I don't even know what time it is. I feel like I could be doing this all night and it's boiling. I need to chill out. But yeah, should enjoy that enclosure. Anyway, um, I'd like to do a shout out to Peter Webster. Go and check out Pete Webster's channel. He is awesome. I actually watched one of his uh, videos today. He's a really nice guy. He gives out free tarantulas all the time to, the, to his subscribers. He's just a really nice guy. You really need to check him out. He deserves more subs. Give him some subs. Just go on uh, YouTube and search Pete Webster. <sighs> He's a funny guy as well. And he's a nice guy. Awesome. Awesome. Right then, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. So I'm nearly reaching 200 subscri subscribers. I can't speak today. I'm nearly reaching 200 subscribers. I've got about six left. So if you enjoy, please subscribe. So I can get my uh, 200 gold. Anyway, thank you. Take care. Goodbye.
Slipping by